All right, guys, I am making this video because I wish somebody told me. And so it's the only reason I make a damn YouTube video is if I wish somebody told me this, or I go out there and spend it a bunch of damn money on junk. Um, you're going to learn in welding and fabrication, clamps are your friend. And I'm going to tell you all what to spend the big money on, what not to spend the big money on. Um, and here we go. Obviously, everybody knows what this is. This is the uh, the Irwin original vice grip. Why that? Whatever the hell it's called now, I don't know. This has actually been a very good clamp to me, guys. Uh, I kind of didn't like dropping. I think I paid fifteen or twenty for this. I kind of didn't like dropping it, but now that I've actually been into it, man, it's nice. Uh, and this little hole here at the end, guys. You know, it's. It's great because you can put it on something and then you can use a flathead if you prefer, but whatever you got. I like a spud wrench. Stick this some bitch in there and tighten her right on up. You know what I mean? Not only that, but it's just nice to, for finger tightening. You know what I mean? If I want to find, you know, the right clamp, you know, the right bite on my, 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 my material, that right there makes it quick, fast, and easy. Obviously, these don't come with it. Um... You just weld a washer on there, dude. And I'm telling you, it makes all the damn difference, bro. It makes all the difference. I've had these clamps now for at least six, seven years, folks. I mean, I beat the shit out of them. Uh, I have cranked this like it's a Betsy clamp. You know what I mean? It, it's, uh, it's a son of a bitch, boy. It gets it done. I like to have a couple with, you know, no feet. I like to have a couple with feet. You know what I'm saying? Now, Betsy clamps. Um, if y'all ain't y'all ain't got Betsy clamps, you, you, you you're in you're 1980. I don't know what to tell you. <coughs> this is the real deal, right here, folks. These are the real deal. Now, I would highly suggest y'all spend the money and get the big badass ones that they use for iron work. Because I'm telling you right now, you can hang an I beam off of it. And just walk away and it'll still be standing there 10 years later just a clamp but you're, you're talking about you know i think 60 to you know upwards of 200 dollars for some of these betsy clamps this is a harbor freight and before you go oh wow what a dumbass this is their new welding stuff burger or whatever the hell they call themselves and uh it's legit man i mean i wouldn't hang iron i've done iron work i wouldn't hang iron with this but if you're not doing iron work, <laughs> which the company should be providing those Betsy clamps anyways. I mean, literally, that's, that's some dangerous stuff. Well, I think it's top five, top ten at least, most dangerous jobs in the world. And that right there will run you about hmm, 20 bucks max. Well worth it, folks. Well worth it. I don't care if you do woodworking. Uh, Betsy clamp is a must-have in uh, the 2000 era. Now this, I don't think it has a name brand on it per se. Again, I wouldn't hang iron with this guys, but for the all around metal shop, I got this at Tractor Supply for like, I think it was like 10 bucks. I looked online, they're, they're like 15 bucks still. So Tractor Supply is the cheapest Betsy clamp for the size you're getting. You know what I mean? That's, that's like two foot right there at least. That's nice to have. So, just a, just a heads up there. Again, hard freight, you can't go wrong. It's just not as long as that one is. You know what I mean? I feel like this one might get you a better bite, but not by much. Uh, tractor supply is the way to go. Again, I hate China. I hate support China, but I love that fucking money. I love that price. You know what I mean? So, I would highly suggest if you got the money... Don't be a cheap ass. Buy American. You know, it's going to last you your entire fucking life if you spend the money and buy the right tools, man. That's what I'm telling you all about these vice grips. I done bought a hundred different brands. You don't go different, bro. It ain't broke. Don't fix it. You buy once, you cry once, the sun best lasts you ten years. You know what I mean? Your Harbor Freight one's going to last you, you know, six months. If, a year if you're gentle. And in metal work, I don't like to be gentle. I like to just get in here, beat the hell out of it, get it done. 
So that would be my suggestion to y'all. Y'all do whatever the hell y'all want. And these are nice too. Oh, are these nice. Now the problem is, is you got to thread that pipe. So if you have a shop that has a pipe threader, that's the way to go. But this is very nice. I think these cost me, uh, I'd say 15 bucks, something like that. And I mean, as big a pipe as you want to put it on, you can put it on. You know what I mean? These things are strong as hell. Betsy, I'm telling you right now, folks, I got that Betsy clamp right there. This tightens better than that Betsy clamp. Now, is it stronger? Mm, I don't know about all that. But that's the real deal. If you want the real deal, that that Betsy clamp right here, this, this name brand, is what you want in that. But like I said, they run upwards of 60, you know. They might have them for 40 now, I don't know. But uh, they're, they're not cheap. I would highly buy one if I had the money. But I ain't got the money right now, so we sticking with this. This is 15 bucks though. And well worth it, every fucking penny. I said I'd like to get a bigger pipe, but I do not have a pipe threader. So I'm gonna have to go over to my boss's house. My, my old boss, I should say. I work for myself now. And we're gonna work for, we're gonna, we're gonna make a dealio. I need me a longer pipe than that. I'm serious, folks. Those right there at 10 foot out will move some shit. I'm very impressed with those. And you gotta have a pair of gators, guys. Uh, you just can't beat it. And again, you get multiple brands out there, you know. Dude, this thing has been with me for like six years now, seven years. It was worth the, the $12. The 15 bucks I spent, man, that has saved my life. Um, we got more clamps. This is actually a really good clamp, too, man. Bessie makes it, it's one of their cheaper versions. And it's actually it came with a button, the button doesn't stay on there too well. I wasn't happy about that, but aside from that, if whatever you're working on doesn't mind an indention, that is the real deal. Or you just put a little piece of fucking metal in, in the way or wood and then it won't leave an indention and you can't go wrong with these either guys these nice long cheapos they're not bad you know what i mean they're not going to move nothing but they'll hold something still for the most part uh sheet metal clamps again guys you know i got this pittsburgh i've already had to weld it as you can see i've already had to weld it two times that's what harbor freight gets you right there guys and I guarantee you it's not at the right angle for proper sheet metal work. So you get what you pay for, man. Just uh, choose wisely. I would highly suggest choose wisely. And get you some of these too, guys. The little finger clamps are nice. Again, I mean, Irwin, they just make a damn good clamp, man. They really do. I am very impressed with their work, their craftsmanship. And it's worth it, man. Spend the money. Just spend the damn money, guys. Buy once, cry once. And that's it. You're good for fucking five, ten years. As long as you're not hitting it directly with a hammer, which I've done on these two, it's going to last forever. And I, I'm talking eight-hour days, ten-hour days, metal work all day long, sweating balls. You can't do that with the Pittsburgh, folks. I get it. If you're getting into the game, you got to start where you're at. Do what you got to do. But buy once, cry once, and you're set, dude. These clamps are don't. I have no, no worries about any of these clamps breaking on me anytime soon. And I have beaten the shit out of all of them. I can promise you that right now. I have beaten the shit out of every one of these clamps. So, get what you pay for, folks. You know what I mean? Be strong, hold on. I just want to make a quick clamp video. Probably wasn't that quick. Like, subscribe. Tell me to go fuck myself. I don't care. Love y'all. Hold on. Be strong.